Hey FR Sky fans, this is Steve with FR Sky, and we're going to talk about some spring cleaning. Um, I'm going to show you what I see. It's fairly common, it's fairly easy to do. Um, and we'll go in and look at a model selection. So we can either press this or the airplane icon. They do the same thing. I'm going to press this one. Go into model select. And as you can see at the top, I've already named the folders. Let me show you. Well, I'll show you how I do it in a second here. But let's look what's in this folder. I'm in the glider folder because that's highlighted. And I see what looks like to be a glider right there. The giveaway, the name is glider. And then the Bixler 2 and the Ranger 1600 are two planes that, well, they're glider-like. Um, but they're not exactly a glider. And I decided that I want to be a little bit more exacting on my names. So I want to put them into a folder called Pusher. Uh, and as you can see, there's no folder called Pusher. So to create one, you hit the plus button right there. And type P-U-S-H-E-R. Okay. All right, now I got this pusher folder and there's nothing in it. We have to go back to gliders. Just remember, we've created the folder. And I'm going to take the Bixler 2. And even though it's checkmark, which means we're in the model right now, this is the active model, all you have to do is click on it once and select change folder. And we're going to push this, put this into the pusher folder. And you can see we're in the pusher folder. But I'm going to go back to the glider folder because I still have that Ranger 1600. And I'm going to do the same thing. Select it by pressing it once, change folders, go to pusher. Okay, now I got the two pusher models in that pusher folder. And the glider model is almost done except it has a model I created by accident and I want to get rid of it. So all I have to do is click on it once and hit delete. And we'll ask if you want to delete the model. You say yes, and it's gone. Okay, so now we have uh, a nice, clean set of planes. Let's say that you went to a swap meet and you found a Tundra, a second Tundra, and you like your first Tundra so much that you are going to take that second tundra and all you want to do is put a receiver in it and copy all the content the whole model set for the first tundra to the second one well, all you have to do is click on it once and select clone and what clone is going to do is it's going to create the second tundra in the same folder all right so you can see we have two tundras well that's going to get confusing because you want to make this one your um, new tundra. So all you would have to do is select throttle not idle. You can also do the same thing by long pressing on it. We're going to go in here and uh, which is the model menu. Go into edit model and and here I'm going to we'll call this the tundra. Let's be really creative. Two enter return. So now all I have to do is go in the RF system, bind up a receiver, and the mixer's all set up. Man, look at that. Everything. You can go and see. Yeah, everything is all set up. It's ready to go. So if, now what you have when you get to the model select is a nicely organized set of folders and you can quickly and easily find where your planes are and you can duplicate them you can delete them you can move folders it's all very simple please let me know if you have any questions my name is steve i can be reached at steve at frsky negative sign rc.com thanks for watching have a great day